Hi, this is going to be a short one. I just want to share a recent tax expander trend I noticed on my system. You may remember a template, a video template I shared here sometimes on a channel. I use it to help me create the videos, the, the script for the videos. That's gone. <laughs> I now have a group of tax expander snippets. My goal was to remove friction. In the past, every time I had an idea for a video, I would have to first add the template to the note and then start writing my idea. I had to do it like this because a template erases any content we have in a note. And by the way, if you don't know what tax expander is, I encourage you to watch my recent video about it. Anyway, now everything is much easier. All I have to do is create a note, start writing my ideas, and after that, I can add the snippets. Here's how it works. The template was basically three sections. The first one was a group of my social links and other links. By the way, do you know that I have a monthly newsletter? You'll find the link in the description below. The second section was uh, references and resources links to the things I talk about in the video. And finally, uh, the chapters of the video. Now I have a snippet for each one of these three sections. I separate them because every so often a video wouldn't have references uh, or maybe chapters. The video is too short, there is no need for chapters. Of course, it's not hard to delete parts of a note, far from it. But when we are talking about a lot of videos I'm working on during the week, sometimes during the day, each little, little friction like this adds up. And in the end, there's a lot of time that I should not be wasting doing these small things. And there's another small bonus. If I need to change anything, it's just a matter of updating the snippet instead of saving a new template. And one thing that I noticed along my career is that becoming more productive, it's all about removing the small problems, the small frictions. They are all over the place. And if we can be a little bit more productive in one small task and another and another and another will become more productive. I'm here editing the video and it feels to me like there's some context missing. The way I showed the steps, writing the script and then adding the snippets, it looks like I do it at the same time. It's not like that. I usually spend a lot of time working on the script and when that is done, when the video is already recorded, then I will add the snippets. Okay, that's one point. The second point is about why expand the snippets in the note instead of the YouTube description box. I could do it because it's a snippet. The problem is the box will only open to me when there's a video there and I tend to work on several videos at the same time. So having it in the note makes everything easier. I can complete the process there and in the future just copy and paste everything to YouTube. However, shorts are different. There, are, there is no chapters and anything like that. All I do is upload the video and expand the social links in the YouTube description box. Also, having everything in a note, everything in Evernote is a way to find a video in the future. It happens all the time. Evernote's search is much better than YouTube. Even if I have the description and everything in a description box, Evernote does a much better job. It happens all the time. When I'm looking for a video, I remember things I talked on that video and I search for it on Evernote and Evernote will show me what video is that, then I can grab the link from there or go to YouTube and send it to someone. Okay, back to the video. As for my client's template, I didn't see a reason to move it to Text Expander. In fact, having all those empty fills in front of me is good. It's a constant reminder that I still have to ask some questions to the client. That's it. If you want to learn more about Text Expander, I invite you to watch this video. And if this video was useful for you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.